Hi, Pisces. This is Nicole. So Minnie told me she wanted me to do the Pisces over again. She was like, I cannot believe you put that shit out there. Take that shit up and do it again. Okay, so Pisces, some of you may in fact be involved with another Pisces. See the Pisces, the fish around the neck? Okay, some of you could be involved with a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a, like I said, a, a Pisces. I see the fish again back there. So some of you could be coming out of a relationship with the Pisces. See how your back is turned uh, to the fish. But some of you could be moving back with the Pisces, or maybe this Pisces is still around your neck. Okay, some of you are single because he's not, he doesn't have a, the ring on his wedding finger, but some of you are willing to move towards stability. I see a lot of emotional stability. Also, I see a ship back there. So some of you could be crossing a body of water. You guys are going to be looking kind of snazzy this month. Okay. I see you getting yourself together. See you just looking real good, getting your emotions together. I see a lot of maturity. Also, for me, when the King of Cups turns up, when the King of Cups, when the King of Cups shows up, it represents for me marriage or somebody has marriage on their mind. Maybe this is referring to something that you would like to happen. Um, ladies over 50, my mom got this card when she was 56 and I told her she was going to marry a doctor. She patted me on my head and said, okay, baby. And he came like six weeks later. So this is a very elegant man, maybe someone who dresses nice. This could be the husband of somebody who's watching now. Um, so the King of Cups energy is looking at the Ten of Swords. Something's gotten you feeling really, really down. And... The Ten of Swords represents feeling stabbed in the back. But I see you being emotionally strong and secure about it. But I feel that there was some type of betrayal, some type of lies, feeling stabbed in the back. But see, there's water out there above the horizon. So there's still hope. But something makes you feel betrayed, hurt, disillusioned. I feel like you're thinking some extremely crazy thoughts in 10 different directions, but someone literally can, this can literally mean being, yeah. So I see a betrayal or death, some type of death around you. Perhaps maybe this is the anniversary of a death for some of you, but I see the I see being betrayed. The swords comes to sever and they come to sever things that no longer serve us. If we go back to the ace of swords where you first had the clarity from your intuition, um, the ace of swords actually gives you enough clarity to let you know you need to stay away from this situation or this person or this project, whatever got you feeling bad like this. Okay, is as a result of not listening to your intuition from the very beginning. However, I see you coming out strong. This is a major arcana. This means that you are going to embody a lot of different resources to strengthen you. I see you uh, also using inner resources and resources that are available, like perhaps in the healing community, Reiki, therapy, yoga. I see you coming together with a lot of courage and you do have the strength to overcome whatever this betrayal or setback is. You see you coming in emotionally strong. Then I see you looking at this setback, not too much though. Like you're kind of looking away from it, moving towards strength because by the time you get to the strength card, you're not even tripping about it anymore. So something kind of happened that made you feel betrayed. It was a loss of some kind. It's really hurt you, but you're standing emotionally strong with it. You're looking at it from a very balanced perspective. You could have been dealing with an air sign or an air sign some way, somehow a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius is somehow involved. Okay. You could feel betrayed by the same sex or there is some kind of man that betrayed your marriage or you feel like there's a third party that could be betraying something that you have established in your home. 
okay but it looks like you are coming out strong the strength card is the leo card you could be dealing with the leo it is ruled by the sun the sun is responsible for photosynthesis life and it gives you life and i see you just kind of taming the beast a lot of times this yeah sometimes you this is a married woman to me too she's married to somebody else so there could be some type of married woman who something could have come to the end with and you guys have decided to be friends let's see what else is going on okay so i clarified the king of cups and we have the queen of swords and the swords come again to cut out or sever ties that no longer serve you right so the queen is a master at it and she gets down to the truth. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or I want to say Virgo, but I don't know why that's rolling off my tongue so easily. But I see a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And it appears that there is some type of severance because of this Ten of Swords of some form of marital relationship with a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra potentially. Okay, and the Libra Virgo, excuse me, the Libra Gemini or Aquarius, the Queen of Swords is no nonsense. She gets down to the truth of the situation. Do you want me? Do you really love me? And look how he's looking away. It's like, well, who are you looking at now? Jesus, I already had to deal with that one and that one and that one. And now there's another bitch. Who is this? Okay. The queen is like, either I've had enough of this. I love you, baby, but I'm done. I just, I really am tired. I want to fly away. All right. So perhaps a Libra or an air sign has come to sever unnecessary ties or sever the ties between you and maybe you and her. And it looks like the relationship comes to an ending. Okay, but then something new starts perhaps with the Taurus or you guys in this situation in order to move to some type of traditional family unit. It looks like you really want a traditional family. And it also appears that you really are feeling the desire to get married. All right. Um, for the wrong reasons, though, like I just get this sense that something is wrong right maybe you're not being truthful something about a marriage that needs to help you sever some type of tie to get strong or you're just moving towards marriage maybe you want to marry a leo that you're having a lot of problems with and you guys can't seem to get it together but the nine of wands means that you're going to get it together it's going to be a long hard road but it does appear that you will get it together on some way capacity. So underneath the Ten of Swords, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents traditional relationships. Some of you could still be involved with an air sign who is trying to get a divorce so that the two of you could marry. An air sign could have affected your marriage some way, somehow. The next card we have is the strength card. Underneath the strength card is a minor strength. So it appears that you guys are coming into the month of September very strong. You have a little bit of setbacks, but it appears that, you know, you're going to use your charm, tradition, uh, maybe a marriage proposal, whatever the case is. It does appear like whatever the setback is that was caused by an air sign or an air sign is definitely affecting you, it appears that you're going to triumph over it. It's just for the middle of the month, for a while, it's going to be very painful because you're going to need an answer of some kind. And I don't think you're going to get it as fast, but you're going to work on it and work on it and work on it and work on it until you get what you want. But somebody is suspicious about your proposal. Okay, or you were suspicious about somebody who you thought you could maybe marry 
and there was something, you got betrayed by someone who you thought was marriage material. Whatever the case is, Pisces, I see you coming out strong. Now let's qualify this. Okay, so we're clarifying this, all right? So some of you, the King of Cups, with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, some of you could be dealing with a man and a woman, or some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or let me 